Dr. King walked on this earth and um, brought his message of love and spirituality and nonviolence. How, after all these years, how has his legacy transformed your life personally and those around you? Uh, first of all, I would say that his legacy has helped me to become more uh, tolerant of diverse people, uh, to be more open to uh, cultural differences. Sir, do you feel that, <clears throat> that Dr. King's message is, is being lost amongst the young people today? Um, I would say yes and no. Uh, mainly uh, the entertainment that the young people receive today. Uh, this kind of uh, distracts from what he stood for. He was a great man, and, and uh, he uh, did a lot of a lot of good things. A lot of good things that they can move forward and enjoy the American dream. Thank you, Doctor. You've been a personal inspiration to me and my wife, Lisa Marie Capoletta. Thank you so much. Well, thank you so much. This earth and spread his message of spirituality and of nonviolence. How do you feel his his message is translated into the the real world? The everyday world of your life. Well, it has it has um, most of the interior. Uh, the exterior is kind of slow, but we were, we're we came a long way. We've come a long way. We still got to have a lot of work to do. <laughs> the spiritual message that he brought to us and nonviolent message. How do you feel, how has his message transformed your life or people around you? I believe that Martin Luther King was our Moses. God sent him here. And he died for us. But he said he was going to the mountain. And uh, it just, because I've always loved our history, and he just added to it. And it's something that we should be proud of. And with me, I'm trying to get away from that slave mentality. We, we came here, a lot of us came here as free people. Just how many free people right here in St. Marcus were here. And the, the history that we gave to this town, even before Martin Luther King, we were here. I, I, when I say we, my people were here. There. That will not work. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. And since he brought his message of love and compassion and and um, peace, and uh, how do you feel that his legacy has has transformed your life and the life of others around? He you? called on everybody to stop viewing things from from the perspective of race, and and to view things from the perspective of you know this is my fellow brother. You know, I love this. I love my fellow brother, and I want to make sure that my fellow brother is successful. And I think, from that perspective, yes, his his message is definitely, um, definitely pertinent. The United States will observe the Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Federal Holiday on January 18, 2010, to honor the birthday of this significant civil rights leader who inspired profound and lasting change in our nation. And all of you who continue to work for and toward equality and making sure that your life and the lives of your children will be one that you can be proud of and move forward with and make America great as we continue down our journey together.
ride with you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Family. Ah, what's up, Daniel? Hey, bro. Hey, bro. <laughs> Sam Marcus hey. News Live tonight at, at six. I gotta wait that long. Oh, we, we can stream it. We're streaming it right now. We have. Everybody's uh, eating cake now and uh, enjoying each other's company. Let's hope that we have many more blessed uh, celebrations of this nature. Once again, this is Daniel Scales for San Marcos News Live.